President Trump's feedback of NFL players and the alliance itself at a political rally Friday evening, which he caught up with a progression of tweets Saturday, denoted the most recent section in his long-running dalliance with the NFL, which, in some ways, resembles a super first-class nation club whose participation Trump has never possessed the capacity to achieve. In 1983, when the going rate for a NFL group was about $80 million, Trump burned through $6 million to purchase the New Jersey Generals of the adversary U.S. Football League, which played its seasons in the spring. In interviews after the Landhead Honcho reported his procurement at a news gathering in the chamber of Trump Tower, Trump said he chose to get tied up with the adversary association since he needed a test. I could have purchased a NFL group on the off chance that I needed to. Be that as it may, I'd rather make something sans preparation, Trump said. I feel frustrated about a poor person who will purchase the Dallas Cowboys. It's a hopeless scenario for him, in light of the fact that in the event that he wins, well, so what, they've won as the years progressed, and on the off chance that he loses. He'll be referred to the world as a washout. As proprietor of the generals, Trump went on a spending binge that got under the skins of NFL proprietors. He gave Herschel Walker, the Heisman Trophy winning running over from the University of Georgia, an agreement expansion. After a year, Trump marked another Heisman Trophy victor, quarterback Doug Flutie out of Boston College, to a five-year bargain worth $7 million. He attempted to sign star linebacker Lawrence Taylor far from the New York Giants, compelling the Giants to give Taylor a raise. Trump attempted to bait mentor Don Shula far from the Miami Dolphins and afterward declared that the talks finished on the grounds that Shula requested one thing Trump would not offer, a free condo in Trump Tower. Cash is a certain something, gold is another, Trump said. Shula denied this and said he finished the arrangements since Trump continued publicizing them. Dolphins proprietor Joe Robbie scorned Trump as connected with additional and ballyhoo. Then in a genuine push to construct an establishment totally by sound proficient administration. In 1986, Trump persuaded his kindred USFL proprietors to dispatch what added up to an unfriendly takeover endeavor, they moved the association's calendar to the tumble to contend straightforwardly with the NFL, at that point sued the NFL, affirming antitrust infringement. Trump anticipated to his kindred USFL proprietors that the claim would bring about an enormous judgment, several millions if not billions of dollars in harms from the NFL, that would drive the NFL to offer to consolidate the alliances. In the trial, NFL lawyers surrounded their case around Trump, contending that the claim was an act coordinated by Trump as an approach to get into the NFL for barely anything. The contention worked. I thought he was to a great degree self-important and I imagined that he was clearly attempting to play the diversion, legal hearer Patricia Sibelia reviewed in a phone talk with a year ago. He needed a NFL establishment. The USFL was a shabby path in. The jury decided that the NFL had disregarded antitrust law yet presumed that the USFL's money-related battles were of its own making and granted just one dollar in harms. In antitrust cases, harms are tripled. So Trump's legitimate strike on the NFL won an amazing aggregate of $3. The USFL collapsed. Just Donald Trump could some way or another transform the behemoth of the NFL into an underdog, said Michael Tolan, executive of the ESPN narrative Little Potatoes, who killed the USFL. Trump lost an expected $22 million on the generals. The Cowboys group which Trump said he considered purchasing in 1983 yet did not on account of you could succeed just along the side in the NFL, was sold in 1989 to Jerry Jones for $140 million. As indicated by Forbes, the group, still possessed by Jones, is presently justified regardless of an expected $4.8 billion, making it the world's most profitable games establishment. After the USFL collapsed, Trump's name emerged intermittently in exchanges about NFL possession. In 1988, he made an offer for the New England Patriots in any case bowed out. In 2014, Trump said he offered $1 billion for the Buffalo Bills, however he was bested by a $1.4 billion offer. In mid-2016, 
Trump told an Associated Press journalist that if his offer had won him the bills he never would have keep running for president. I did it somewhat probably, Trump advised the AP of his endeavor to buy the bills. When I put the offer in for the Buffalo Bills, I generally was somewhat concerned if the NFL would recollect how I thumped the damnation out of them. For the first time ever, in any case, Trump communicated satisfaction with Crush. This is all the more energizing, he said of running for president. What's more, it's a great deal less expensive. A portion of the material in this story was adjusted from Trump Revealed, a 2016 account by Mark Fisher. Michael Cranishy and a group of Washington Post correspondents.